All right, onward and upward. So at this point, we've discussed the new course model that you're gonna to have to create and complete. We've discussed the server support that you need to add so that your client can retrieve data about an individual course. Now we need to talk about the client itself. So what I'm gonna do, we're sort of going incrementally through the test suites, uncommenting things as we go. So now what I'm gonna do is uncomment this next chunk. And this is the chunk that tests the course client. So I'll comment this. Uh, and now you'll see that I do have a compiler error. This requires that I add a new method to my course client that doesn't exist yet. Um, so let's go through that. And again, we'll stub it out in a way that uh, allows the test suite to run, but not pass. Okay, so last time we talked about the server side support. So now if you've completed the test for your server, which I would suggest that you do, I mean, you know, you try to approach this one at a time, but some of you are here because you're trying to uncomment things to get the uh, app to compile so that you can get the points and that's fine, right? Um, so maybe you're done with your server side route, maybe not. Um, but the idea is that, you know, that server could be anywhere and your app also needs to be able to retrieve information from that server. Typically the server would be across the network somewhere, right? Uh, running on some other machine. Um, so let's look at how this would work, right? Um, so I'm going to look at um, the client. So last time I looked at server, now I'm gonna look at client. And this is very similar to what we've been doing for different parts of this MP, which is that, or this checkpoint, which is that we're gonna look at the code that's there and we're going to mimic it. Uh, we're gonna provide something similar. So let's look at this get summary method. Uh, this get summary method, is used, uh, if we click on this and hit, uh, let's see here, go to declaration or usages, that'll take us to the place where it's used. So when the main activity starts up, that's the main screen of the app, it calls get summary to retrieve information about all the different summaries that it's gonna display in the list. This is a method that accepts a callback um, because it's a method that could take a little while to complete and so we split it into two parts. So you make the request. Remember, this is a callback. It's like, you know, calling up saying, I'd like some summaries. Here's the number to call me back at. Hang up. And then once the network requests have completed and the server has told us about the summaries, um, the client calls back using this callback that's provided and says, okay, the summaries are ready. And you'll see the summaries are, the summaries are down here in my main activity. Okay. So I've got my get summary method um, and I need to provide something very similar for course. So get summary retrieves the summaries for all the courses. Get course is gonna retrieve a single course. And if I go over here to the test suite, and this is another thing that's covered in the MP write-up, but you can also sort of glean from um, the test suite itself. The first thing I pass get course is a summary. And we'll also talk about the callback. So let's just go into my client code and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut and paste this. I'm going to call this get course. And the, uh, the signature is a little bit different. So I'm going to pass a summary as my first argument. And then I'm not going to pass a second argument. Um, and I'm going to uh, also accept a callback that I'm going to use uh, when I'm done. So parts of this, now this is not, um, you know, none of this is correct right now, right? Uh, so I, I can just comment this out. Uh, in fact, why don't we just comment out this, this entire method because this is not correct. You'll have to, uh, you know, work to sort of look, well, let's leave it for now because I want to look at the, how to do the callback. So up here, I have a different, I have a set of callbacks that are used for the client to return information to the caller. So like I said, this uses the callback pattern. You call up the client, you say, I'd like some information, here's how to reach me. And then the client returns that information using the callbacks. If I go over to my MP2 test suite, I see that um, the course client callbacks is now expected to include a course response method. That doesn't exist yet. So you're actually gonna have to add a method to the callback. So let's do that as well. Uh, I'm gonna add my, um, and this is called course response. Now, if I go over here, and again, this is covered in the write-up, but I'm just going to uh, cheat. Um, the arguments to that are a summary and a course in that order. So the first thing um, I pass back is a summary 
That that's the summary that you requested, and then a course, and that's the course information that you didn't have before. And I'll have to import this uh, from my models. Um, this is a check style there. I can ignore it. Um, and so this is actually going to, and for now, let's just, uh, and, and you'll have to kind of look at the code that's in here, but let's walk through, right? So how does this work? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting up a URL that is the path that's gonna be used to make the request. Now we just got done, you know, go back to the server video if you want a refresher about how that works, because there's a format to this that I have to follow. I'm being passed the summary. The summary contains the year, the semester, the department, and the number. So I should be able to construct the URL properly, but this isn't going to work, right? Uh, I'm certainly not going to be able to use the year and the semester. I'll have to use, uh, you know, I, well, you know what? Let's just do this. Why not? So it's course, right? And then I'm going to use summary.year.getYear dot get year plus uh, summary dot get semester. And then I have a few other parts. So this is this gets you started, right? This is not correct, but there's a few other things you have to add here, right? Because in order to fully identify the course, I need to use uh, both the number and the department as well. Okay, so I construct my URL and then I make this request. And this is actually what makes the request from the server. The response I get back, in this case, previously the response was an array of summaries, but now the response is actually gonna be an instance of a course. So I'm gonna to have to look at the code in get summary and figure out how to modify that. So what I get back is a string of JSON, but it's a JSON that I should be able to deserialize into a course object. Once I have that course object, I should be able to call the uh, course response callback with the information contained in that JSON string. Um, and you know, again, I'm not gonna finish this for you, but this is another case where I have to make some small modifications to uh, the code in order to get things to work properly. Okay, so for now what I'll do, uh, because this is not going to, well, you know what, why don't we do this? Let's just make a dummy, uh, let's make a dummy response here. We'll say uh, course response and we'll just pass nulls. Uh, this is gonna cause some things to break. That's okay, this I can ignore. It's just a check style problem, okay. Um, let's go back to the test suite. Uh, now you'll see that the, uh, that my, comp oh, and I think, I broke a brace here. How did I do this? Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I broke a brace. Uh, there's an extra brace here somewhere. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, do I need it here? Yeah, okay, good. Um, okay, so now let's uh, run my test suite again. I'll run the whole MP2 test suite just to see, to make sure that it compiles first and that I can run it. Um, oh, and why is this? Oh, it's quite angry about this. Okay, let's just, uh, I'll comment out the try catch here. But you're gonna need that eventually. Uh, it's gonna have to look more like the one up here for get something. But I'm removing that because the compiler doesn't like it. Okay. So this compiles, which is great, right? And then, you know, I expect all the tests to fail except the tests for the summary that I was already passing. Okay, so all these are failing, um, but I have some sense of what I need to do. And again, this is another place where we're expecting you to examine the code in get summary, make some small changes to it, which we've already started here in get course, and that's all you really need to do to finish this. Once you have this done, Right? So this is one of the first, sort of first big milestones on this MP is where you have the course model working, you have the route on the server working for retrieving the course information, and you have support in the client. Um, once you are done with those, what's left is adding support actually for displaying this information, which on some level is a little bit more challenging than what we've done so far. We'll have some videos covering that as well. But this is you know a good kind of uh, point to kind of try to focus on getting to, right? which is... I have my course model done, I have the server route done, and I have support in the client. Because in all these cases, again, what we're asking you to do is to mimic, to read, understand, and mimic existing code that we've provided that does almost exactly what you need to do.